What's up everybody, Tech Trucker here, and today I've got a special treat for you. I've got some more Muppets action figures by Diamond Select. Today we're going to take a look at the Bunsen and Beaker figures, and these guys are so cool. I have to say, I am very biased. I love the Muppets. You saw my uh, previous review of Statler and Waldorf. Uh, this is probably going to be almost as gushing of a uh, review, so uh, beware. There will be some bias to this review. But let's go ahead and crack this thing open and take a closer look. Alright, so let's talk about the articulation on these guys, and it's actually quite good. Uh, they both have a double ball peg in their neck, and it actually works pretty good. It's not too great on Beaker. He isn't able to look up a huge amount, but he is able to look down a decent amount. And the side-to-side -side action is actually pretty good. Uh, it does feel like it sticks just a little, but it's not too, too bad. The tilt is actually pretty good, and I like that. Um, Especially on Beaker, let's take a look at Bunsen here real quick uh, because he does have a slightly better uh, looking up ability. Looking up ability, yeah. And looking down, not too much. Uh, but he's able to look side to side really good. And he's got really, really good tilt. So uh, you're not going to be disappointed with that. In the shoulders, they've got a ball uh, hinge for Bunsen. And he's able to get his arm out uh, pretty far. He's got full rotation of that shoulder, if I can get that to go. It sticks a little bit. And then the uh, elbow has a single hinge. And there is also a... Um, uh, just a peg in the wrist and that you can actually pop those wrists off um, and I forgot to mention there is a peg at the top of the elbow as well so you can swivel now in Beaker he also has the ball hinge in his shoulder and he's able to get his arm out all the way he uh, swivels at the uh, elbow but there's not much of any um, bend and then in the wrist he actually has a ball and a hinge in there uh, but there's not a lot of range of motion in that hinge because of the jacket moving down into the legs now beaker has an actual waist swivel uh, and, and that works really well and you can kind of see in there i believe beaker has um He's got the, uh, the T joints, I believe, and then he's got a waist, or not waist swivel, a uh, thigh swivel, and he's got double jointed knees, which work pretty well, even with the jacket. Um, he can get pretty much 90 degrees. He could probably go a little bit further, but that jacket does get in the way a little bit. And then moving down into the ankles, he's got a, a peg at the top of the sock, and then he's got a hinge joint, which allows him to get that foot back and forward really, really good. And then there is an ankle rocker, which actually works pretty well for Beaker. Let's take a look at Bunsen and see what he's got now. Now, first off, Bunsen does not have any torso um, rotation or waist swivel but he does have a uh, single knee joint which works okay uh, and there is also a swivel in that and then he has a ball joint in his uh, ankle and he's able to move that ankle back and forward a little bit and then there is also an ankle rocker which works pretty well so overall I'm actually pretty happy with the uh, with the articulation on these figures uh, it works well enough especially I mean these figures aren't super big uh, the one issue that I have is Beaker's arms, those elbows, just don't bend at all. There's almost no bend. Uh, so, you know, there's that. It would be nice if those bent a little bit better. Alrighty, so moving into the sculpt and the paint of these figures. And this is really where these figures excel. This is where uh, I'm really, really happy. And we're going to start with Beaker, and we're going to take a look at his head. Um, number one, I just love the color. Uh, they did great with these colors on Beaker. And the detail work, I especially like the, um, the texture of the skin. It just looks like the Muppet texture. Uh, Diamond Select really did a great job capturing that. And the paint work, they did really nice. Like I said, the, the tone, the color tone is very, very nice. Um, moving over to, to uh, Bunsen. Now, he's not necessarily as green, I think, at least in the older uh, version of the show. But uh, I still really like it, and I like this smooth uh, look that they've got here. Now, his glasses don't quite fit as nicely on, uh, on his head. They kind of, you can see they're a little bit off. But moving down into the jacket um, and the body, these jackets, these... Uh, 
uh, his uh, trench coat or whatever that Beaker's got. They're both made out of a softer plastic and they're painted really, really well. Now you can see on Beaker's shirt, there is a little bit of white showing through where they missed some of the paint, but you know what? I, I can live with that. I like how they've got the undershirt uh, poking out on the sleeves, uh, the back of the jacket. There's lots of nice texture throughout, even on the front, you can see the buttons. Um, and Bunsen's jacket is just as good, maybe even a little bit nicer. Um, and he's got the, the vest and the tie and whatnot, and those are painted really well. I actually think that his is painted a little bit better. I like the pen and pencil in his uh, lapel pocket. Uh, very, very great representation for these figures. Um, you know, I had noted in the articulation that uh, um, Beaker wasn't able to move his arms nearly as much, but um, that's because of the sculpt. And moving down into uh, Bunsen's legs. I really like the paintwork. You can see that little bit of grayish at the bottom of the the uh, pant leg. Uh, there's just some nice paintwork there. The shoes, they didn't really get much for paint on his, but Beaker, they really did a great job. You can see those plaid pants. Uh, it's just an excellent paint job. Uh, even the socks and the shoes, I think they did a great job painting these. I mean, they look so nice. It's very rare that I get to see such nicely painted shoes. Um, and they lucked out because his laces could be white, so they didn't actually have to paint the laces, but you can see it and they look really great. Now I noted um, that uh, because of the elbows be the way that they were sculpted, he can't move very well. Also the uh, wrists on Beaker, he can't really move his wrists, that, that curl doesn't work very well. Had they just lifted that up just slightly or made his uh, wrist a little bit longer, uh, that definitely would have worked. But overall, I love the sculpt work on these. I love the paint work on these figures. Uh, Diamond Select really knocked it out of the park on these. Alrighty, so accessory wise, uh, whoops. Uh, accessory wise, there's not a lot that comes with these guys, but I think it's because they're prepackaged. But he comes with uh, Bunsen or Beaker. No, Bunsen comes with this nice little clipboard, and it's actually sculpted and painted really, really nicely. You can see that the uh, the clip is painted with kind of a silverish, and then the the actual page is painted with a really nice design. The back, there's nothing too interesting about that, but the front, uh, you can see it's painted really, really well, and. Uh, it's actually really cool. I, I love this little clipboard and he can hold it in his hand. Now the other two accessories that uh, that we get are these uh, two kind of generic uh, peg stands that, uh, you know, they're nice. They're nice enough. I, I don't have a problem with the peg stands. Um, the one issue that I do have is no peg holes. There are no peg holes on Beaker and there are no peg holes Let's stand Beaker up first. There's no peg holes on Bunsen. So these are useless for the figures that they come with. Um, now, I, I'm sure I can find a use for them. And I actually tweeted Diamond Select because I was really annoyed when I first opened it. So I'm like, really? There's no peg holes. Why would you give us these? Uh, and I, I tweeted them, and they actually tweeted me back, which I was kind of surprised. Um, and you can see here's their response um it, it's a decent enough response saying hey free free peg stands for your other figures um the issue is is i guess if you're gonna give an accessory it would be ideal if the accessory was for the figure that it came with uh because what if these were the only figures i wanted to buy uh you know it, i don't know it just it kind of turned me off a little bit. I like that they responded. I like that they, you know, were honest about it. Um, so I'm not knocking them for anything. I just kind of would have liked that I got an accessory that was actually for the figures that I got. Again, I'm just going to jump right into my conclusion because I love these figures. You will love these figures. If you love the Muppets, if you grew up with the Muppets, uh, you're going to love these figures to death. Um, you saw my, my review of uh, Statler and Waldorf, these guys are, are on the same 
level. They're just as great. Uh, they're super fun to pose. They're super fun to play with. Uh, so you're not going to be upset. I got these guys at Toys R Us for $12.99. It was full price and it was worth every penny. I believe the original version probably came with some other uh, accessories and it was it's, it's on Amazon for like $24.99. So uh, you have the choice, get it from Toys R Us, get it from Amazon, uh, whatever, but definitely go out and get it. So I hope this was useful. I hope it was helpful. Make sure you hit like if you like this video. Uh, if you want to see more, go ahead and hit subscribe, and I'll see you later. Tetris Brain Blast.